well. This time I'm still vlogging because everyone was like, please vlog this time, please vlog this time. But I'm doing something a little bit different. We are gonna be doing the character challenge where you have to basically meet as many characters as possible and I'm gonna try and coordinate my outfit to the characters I think I'm gonna be meeting that day. So today I'm wearing a Pickles inspired outfit. It's also kind of Shelly Mae, because I got Shelly Mae, which is really bad. Disney bound etiquette, you should never be doing two characters at once. But it was really cold, okay, and it's not usually cold in Florida, so I'm given some leeway. <laughs> Piglet's our leader. How I leader? Why <laughs> pick for me? <laughs> Sucks to be you! <laughs> Congratulations to today's designated 
happened in my life. Well done. <laughs> How are you feeling, Anna? Dizzy. <laughs> Good morning, Space Rangers. Today we are at uh, the Aliens from Toy Story, and we're going to be at Hollywood Studios. And we're going to be checking out Toy Story place. <laughs> and we're really having to get a photo with Buzz today, and basically as many Toy Story characters as possible. Add to the character challenge. So let's go. running around us in circles. <laughs> um, we are in the queue to meet Buzz Lightyear. We just did a slinky dog, or as Hannah called it, skinny dog ride, skinny dog dash. <laughs> Hi, can you just wave to everyone? It's lovely to meet you, Buzz. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Fish are friends. Fish are friends. Hello everyone, so uh, we went to see the Finding Nemo musical, which actually made me really emotional. And Finding Nemo is just a really great story, you know? And speaking of, I have had to come back to the uh, hotel because I uh, have a deadline tomorrow. As much as I love Disney, uh, the writing has to come first. I haven't got a whole lot left to do, I'm just doing the very, very last edits. I got my page of notes. Anyway, uh, Book three coming out in September, and it's definitely the best thing I've ever written, so I hope you all enjoy it. And while you're reading it, you can know that I worked on some of it at Disney. There'll be a little bit of Disney magic in it. Here. 
here, I told you there's no part for you in this show. Of course there is! After all, who better to play royalty than moi? All hail King George! Figgy, women aren't kings, they're queens. Fine! All hail Queen Georgia! <laughs> Piggy, you see, in the American Revolution, England loses, which means the king, or the queen, loses. Excuse me? <laughs> it is I, Georgette Washington, and I cannot tell a lie. I look fabulous! Piggy, <laughs> like the Declaration says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'm gonna compel him to include women in the sequel. Work. We've been shrunk to fairy size. So little, tiny little baby beans. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I look very tired today, 
most of us have come down with some kind of illness. Who could have done that? <laughs> Literally, it just spreads around the whole world from Dodie's door. So we're in Animal <laughs> Kingdom today, and I'm dressed as a burger. And I got my little burger bag from Tokyo Disney that Abby picked up for me. Hannah is a doll whip, and Rowan is a doll whip, but she <laughs> pineapple. She's a yeah pineapple doll whip. You can tell. I love the little bow. And Abby, you know me now. Rowan, Abby. Oh, Abby. we got two yeah. two Abby things today. Aww. Which I've never done before. I've only ever done a safari in actual Africa. Ooh, get you! So let's see how it compares. <laughs> Let's swim. They take a deep breath, sink it down to the bottom, and then eight okay, to so nine I have minutes really at a time. Weird, like lifelong desire, so which is that I really want to smack here. him. Hippos are nocturnal animals that cannot stay out of like water for too long during the day, the otherwise block. their skin would dry Even up and overheat. So Let's so take their summer little pelicans, that's called a pod. A pod of pelicans. You're a very big cow. So big and cow. Alright, make. I love cows. Will the Good morning everyone. So today we're heading to Epcot. We got up very late because literally everyone is sick. We all woke up with like my throats are killing me. But we're going to Epcot, which is probably my favorite park. And it's the Flower and Garden Festival, so I am baby with my Bon Chance dress. And I think we're in a rush because we're gonna miss our uh Sora and Fast Pass, so. eating at the little pavilion, the like eating picnic area in the Japan pavilion. And this is one of my really dumb Disney tips, but this place is really good for photos and filming because the light is always really nice. That's my uh, hot Disney tip for you guys. <laughs> Buenas noches. 
noche, señoritas y señores, esta noche estar aquí es mi pasión, qué alegría, pero la música es mi lengua y el mundo es mi familia. So we have a little bit of time for our dinner reservation, so uh, we're gonna meet some characters, we're gonna meet Baymax and we're gonna meet Joy and Sadness who are in the queue for now and I've never met them before, so. Not too great. little vlog day we're in Hollywood Studios but I basically spent the entire day in the hotel finishing book three which is officially done you're gonna be able to read it 5th of September pre-order links in the description box please buy this book so it was worth me not going to Disney today thanks but I wanted to show you guys I got my first ever custom special magic band because every time I come to the park I'm so torn between so many that I don't buy one so I'm like oh I don't know which one I want to get and this one just really spoke to me. It's got snacks all the way around it. And I was very torn between this and the It's a Small World one. But Natasha, my friend Ellen, everyone was like, get the snacks. And they were right, and I don't feel any regret. So it's a good day all around. I sense a little fear. Oh. But don't worry, I'll find you. Get out of his head! Ready position, here we go! Really, this is only further proof that it makes no sense that Ray kicked his ass because look at all these tiny children feeding Kylo Ren. Like, he clearly sucks. This is very true. <laughs> Nothing but respect for my president. <laughs>
morning everyone. It's March 16th. It is my birthday. I'm wearing my uh, Disney dog dress and I have my birthday badge. So we're in line to meet Alice. She's a little bit late, which feels very in character for her. Hello, so we met Alice and that went that went pretty well, it was quite efficient. They didn't have a photographer though, so I'm gonna have to use some screenshots from the video. But we're now just in time to meet Belle, and I've never met Belle before, so I'm really excited. Well, you can set your bag over here and we can swap out for photos. You can come get a picture of her. Thank you. Somewhere on here is even the little doggy pet store. Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. Isn't he cute? Oh, he loves to get a boy. He's always prancing on the back. I have to say, I wanted to meet you so long. I always miss you when I come to Disney World. So it's so nice to finally meet you. Thank you so much for your birthday. I'm glad to be out in the village, of course. Oh yeah, and I love this dress. I love you all. I love your yellow dress too, but this is my favorite dress. Because it's very practical. Exactly. Oh, of course. Maybe the one I used to show you. Okay. Hello. Kristen is here. Kristen took me to Disney for the first ever time in my life, like four, four five years ago. So long ago. Look, we came to Starbucks, my favorite Starbucks in the whole of Disney is the one in Epcot. And it says, happy birthday, Princess Kai! That's so cute! We ate so much queso. We had dinner for my birthday at the San Angel Inn. So I am so full, but it was so good. And we had the cutest waiter ever, and he bought me a free flan at the end. The flan. And we are finishing the birthday day by watching Ratatouille, the best Pixar film. Also, I got this shirt. We were just coming out of uh, Big Tops, which is my favorite shop in all of um, the Magic Kingdom. And some guy just grabbed me, he was like, hey, where are you from? Come on, you're gonna be in this band. <laughs> and I had no choice in the matter. I did a pretty good job. But it was really funny, because they were like, they made this joke being like, we got the world famous Connie Glynn. And then there was this girl in the audience who knew who I was, <laughs> so she was like, oh my God, it's her. And I was like, hi. They gave me a horn. <laughs> they gave me a horn and everything. <laughs> Okay, look at you. Okay. Okay, so that's probably the last time I was gonna see the Magic Kingdom for like well over a year because I don't think I'm coming back till Halloween 2020. Bye. Bye.